What up, M Squad? Welcome back to the channel today, you guys. Today, um, we are getting a new refrigerator and new stove put in. Um, this is going to be a new microwave oven above the stove that we just got. And so they still here trying to fix on the stuff. And this is the microwave right here. And this is the dishwasher. So we're getting a microwave and a dishwasher. We just got our refrigerator put in and our stove put in today. So we just got a lot of stuff just all over the place. It's organizing the refrigerator and the refrigerator makes ice. So I'm so proud of that. Okay, so we just got our new sink put in, which is this right here. The sink is a little bit deep. And we got this new countertop put in as well. And we also got um, these new cabinets and the handles put in. So yeah, that's what it looked like. And the backsplash as well. We got this new backsplash put in. So we just wait for them to fix up everything. Um, so I'm happy about that. Let me turn this camera around, you guys. Okay, I'm back. So, let me tell y'all about the foolishness that me and my husband had to deal with today. So, I had called our insurance company just to verify to make sure that we had vision, right? So, I done talked to four customer service representatives, and they all told me that we had vision. So, me and my husband went to our appointment this morning. It was at 8.50 at America's Best. They was excellent. Customer service was on point. They greeted us the entire time we was here. I love it, right? So we got, we did, both of us did our vision test. We went to go pick out our glasses. And you know when you sit down with the representative, you go over your insurance information, you know, for your lenses, your frames, what is the amount that's covered by your insurance. If you want any additional things added to your glasses, that may be an amount that you may have to pay outside what your insurance is not going to be able to cover. So I can get that. Cool. I've been down this route before. So we got there. We picked out our glasses. Come to find out we don't even have vision insurance. Uh, so I end up calling two different numbers just to verify to make sure to see if we have it. Come to find out we didn't. I'm like now, I told that last representative, I said now, you went through our information thoroughly and you said that we don't. I said, how come the other representatives didn't? I said, they, t they informed me what I need to do. I can put in my zip code and they can give me a list of the um, doctors that's nearby a house because I don't want to be going all clear across town, right? So... They gave me the information. We got there, picked out our glasses. We did our eyes in. No vision insurance. So I had to deal with that foolishness. I said, you know what? Forget it. Ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. So American Best, they have this special going on. Like if you pick out two glasses for two for $79, your vision test is free. So me and my husband did that. Um... Both of us got reading glasses and for like long distance, like for regular glasses. I said, you know what? Ain't nobody got time for this. This is just crazy. So we just end up doing that. We end up just paying for the glasses itself and our vision test was free. I am so glad that American Best have a deal like that where you can get two for $79. And um, so both of us got two pair. that I was just pissed off that I had to deal with that and I don't know what's going on with customer service it seemed like over the past couple of years customer service is no longer customer service no more some places when you call people immediately got an attitude when you go to restaurants people have an attitude they no longer give out condiments they no longer ask you do you need a straw or do you get your straw or you know you want napkins they some of them have rushed you 
while you ordering and it's just like no this is too early for some ice cream they rush you when you do the drive through they rush you to order your food like if, if I tell you that's it wait until I tell you like and then when they, when you ask for like condiments they may give you like two packs of ketchup like what is what is wrong with them these days like this is just crazy I don't know what's going on with customer service it's just like a lot of these younger younger generations a lot of them just don't care they got some of the nastiest attitudes it's like you already know that you're going to be dealing with the public you already know dealing with the public can be very nasty very rude but don't start off like that don't have an attitude like that because when you start off having an attitude like that and you talking to someone new that's going to make them have an attitude and you know people don't play with their food. People just don't play. So it's just... It's crazy. Sometimes you may get a drink and you may not get a straw. Sometimes you may get a straw and don't get your drink. You barely get your food in a bag. <laughs> really, seriously. You, bar you, you barely get your food in the bag. And then when you get fries, it's barely fries in there. You ask for a medium fry, you might get a small... Or they may charge you for a large and you get a small. It's just like, that's why I went out. I mainly cook at home, but every now and then we may go out and get something to eat. I make sure I look at my receipts. I make sure I look at my food before I drive off because I will wait there in the drive-thru and look at and make sure that I got everything I ordered and I will stay there if there's something that's not in the bag because I'm not going to pull off. Unless you ask me to move out and you bring the food to me, that's something totally different. But going down the street and then got to turn back around, mm-mm. It's just crazy. So, I just had to get on here just to, um, just talk about that because that's just crazy that I need my glasses because my prior glasses that I had, I lost them. I cannot find them nowhere. I don't know where they're at. I don't know if, you know, I know we was moving things around. I don't know if it got that, like that. I know we went on vacation. I haven't had my glasses in, what, over a year now? now almost a year? No, because we got our vision test last year. It's been a couple of months. Yet. I don't know where my glasses is at, to be honest. So, hopefully that I can find them somewhere. But, um... I know they lost, so I might as well just forget it. I got new glasses coming, so I can't wait to get those. I can't wait to show you guys. American Best. America's Best. The customer service was A1. They was on point. They smiled. They laughed. They educated us. And they took care of us from the time we walked in until the time that we left out. They was waiting patiently as I called the custom, um, our insurance company over the phone multiple times <laughs> that was foolishness within itself so they waited patiently and you know I told the lady I said just go ahead and take care of the other customers you know because it, it's pointless me sitting us sitting here and you know you waiting for us to get on the phone where there's other people waiting so just go ahead and take care of them oh there was this little cute little boy that was inside there it's like, can you get my phone? Let me see who called me. That was a cute little boy. So I had peppermint in my pocket, right? <laughs> so the little boy seen me with the, um, oh, how long you guys? How long? How long you guys? Okay, y'all, I'm back. I had a phone call, so I had to take care of that. But, um, yeah, so let me get back to the story. So this little boy, right, he saw me pull out the little peppermint out of my um, my skirt, my pocket. So he seen me um, pulling it out. So um, that was, like, after we got done with, like, the regular exam. And then, you know, the eye doctor herself or himself, they take you back to another exam to check out your pressure of your eye and all that stuff. So, um after we got done with that, they take you to where you can go pick out your glasses. So while we was picking out the little uh, glasses, the little boy he was over he was whining the entire time. He was just making like this little whining noise, but it wasn't he wasn't crying, but he was just whining. 
So, um, after he seen me, uh, so he seen me standing up there getting, picking out my glasses and all that. So, the little boy, <laughs> he must have, he had to remember that I had peppermint in my, uh, in my pockets, in my skirt pockets. So, the little boy went on the side of me and went inside my skirt pockets trying to get my little peppermint out my pockets and I started laughing that thing was just too funny y'all I was, then his mom and dad they really wasn't paying him no attention they figured like okay he's okay he in here he's okay but yeah that's not okay like you 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 have to teach your children even at a young age you know you don't just randomly go up to people get people and put your little hands in people pockets <laughs> The little boy was so, it was it was just like yeah so I just I just want to get on here and tell that little story it don't matter where we go it's always some kind of little story or something that we run into whether it's something crazy that we seen or somebody acting crazy or something something or another it's like never a dull moment when we out and about it's never a dull moment regardless of where we go we can go up the street down the street. A clear across town it's always something crazy going on but he was a little he looked like he had to be around about maybe three yeah he looked like he was three years old but three or four <laughs> that little boy was something else though but yeah i just want to get on there and tell this little story you guys it was just it was just crazy 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 but anyways um I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show y'all little things that they have been doing in into our apartment. Um, so yeah, things coming along. Um, I hope y'all been enjoying our shorts. Uh, my shorts that I've been putting up there. I've been I'm I've been love doing my the YouTube shorts. I love the little quick little videos. Um, but I do have some other videos that I need to edit and put out. So I'm gonna be adding those, editing those, and putting those out but y'all stay tuned to that so like i said it if you are new to the channel welcome and to all my loyal supporters i just want to say thank you guys if you like this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up hit that notification bell and make sure you select all so you'll be notified when new content has been uploaded to the channel